Welcome to our home. And I, I wanted to share the first rose. Uh, it's a little unusual to have rose come out this early, but it's so beautiful. I'm just so happy with it. And it, yes, it smells really beautiful. You're going to hold it? Yeah, I want to I wanna give people a close up right there. <laughs> You want to hold it for a little bit? Sure. All right. So I love the song that Barry's going to sing in a little Mm -hmm. bit. Uh, He didn't write it, but it's it's just one of my favorites. Like I I could listen to it every day, (laughs) and I have listened to it so many times for I don't know, close to fifty years, maybe. My goodness. Actually, so you'll see. (laughs) But it's it's a song about um, simplicity. So, I have this story that I hope goes with it. Any of your stories go with any songs. (laughs) Thank you, Barry. (laughs) So, as you know, we love dogs. Like, love, 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 love dogs. And we've owned a dog now for 52 years. Different dogs, of course, but um, such a big part of our lives. And the breed that we have really attached to is the golden retrievers. We just love them so much. And our two golden retrievers right now are Honey and Gracie. But this story takes place quite a long time ago before they, before those two were born. And we used to do, um, we used to join with our dogs and anybody else that got a puppy from us in the 4th of July parade in Aptos, California. It's quite an event. Mm-hmm. It's called the World's Short, Shortest Parade, yeah. is it? Yeah, it's kind of fun. People come out and it's, it's just real sweet kind of small town event. But we started bringing our, our golden retrievers and telling people that, that live locally to bring their golden retrievers. So one year, and we all meet in the in a veterinary parking lot <coughs> and wait for our turn to march in the parade. So one year we had, I think, 20 golden retrievers. It was very impressive. And um, the puppies from us are very, very beautiful. It's a really beautiful breeding. So all the dogs were just beautiful, and they were all brushed and everything. But um, just dog. I mean, just nothing else. No fancy collars, no costumes. The owners didn't have any costumes on. We were just everyday regular people with our dogs. So the parking lot started filling up and first came the dachshunds. You know, those long little (laughs) dogs. And they they just had all, they had very elaborate costumes. One was, was dressed as a as a hot dog, and the owner had made like a kind of a, a fake roll that went along with, it was really cute. Um, I don't think the dog liked it. And then came the pugs, whole great big bunch of pugs, and they were very dressed up and <laughs> looked just adorable. And then came these great Pyrenees, these huge, big, majestic dogs, like, like they look like the king and queen of all all dogs and they and their owners were very very dressed in costume and they brought these carts that were all decorated and the dogs pulled the carts and it was quite amazing and i looked around i'm like oh well you know we're we're the only ones just presenting just the way we are um us and the the other owners of the golden retrievers i thought that's okay you know, it's, it's just who we are. Simple. And so we did the parade, and it was our turn to march, and everyone loved the golden retrievers, loved them. We got lots of applause, but, I mean, the dogs didn't do anything special. They kind of went on the side and gave wiggles and love to everyone, which was really sweet. The other, the other dogs all marched in precision, and it was very impressive impressive. Our dogs are all over the place, all, all 20 of these. So there's... A so we, we had the interactive <laughs> parade because they interacted with the people watching. So there, there is a blue ribbon that's given for each category. I never even 
think about it. You know, how could we possibly win, you know, with these, especially the Great Pyrenees dogs? So that year, I get a phone call that I should come in and pick up the prize, which was a blue ribbon. <laughs> I could hardly believe it. And I, and I got there as the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I, I have no idea why we won. And he said, I think you won for love. And I, I, lear- I just learned so much from that because, you know, don't we always in our, in our lives, we think, well, you know, if, I, if, if only I had a better outfit on, I, I probably would be more prepared for this interview or this talk. Or what I've struggled with is, um, if only I were a better speaker, um, you know, I take, I hesitate sometimes. If only I could be more, you know, I've, th- I've thought of that. Um, if only I, I, you know, all these things that we think, if, if only we looked a certain way or acted a certain way or had a certain amount of education or training, we'd be better. But, but the message of this and the message of that parade is that we are enough just the way we are. Just like those golden retrievers were enough, just the way they were. No costumes, nothing fancy, just who they are. And I want you to think about that. Whenever, um, you know, you wish, like, oh, if only I were thinner, people would love me more. Um, you know, all the things that we do. If only my hair wasn't thinning. More money. More money. If I had, well, only I had, had a better car. <laughs> but it's not true. It's just who we are. Just, just who we are without anything fancy. Okay, so you'll see. You probably, a lot of you know this song that Barry's going to sing, and it's, oh gosh, it's just so special. Uh, now, isn't that, isn't that a sweet story? Our dogs won a blue ribbon for love. Okay, and I, you know, I can't help but feel that if you want to wear, if you want to win the greatest prize, all you have to do is be yourself and love. <laughs> and also, while they were, while you were talking, I realized, I mean, I was just thinking about what an incredible public speaker you are. <laughs> maybe it, maybe it helps that you can't see your audience. <laughs> But there's millions of people out there watching, and you speak so well. It's true. I'm just looking at a camera, but I am thinking about I am thinking about all of you and your faces flash before me. But thank you, Barry. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to put this flower down. Yeah, watch it. It's going to fall. Oh, you got it there. All right. Um, uh, some of you have seen the movie Brother, Son, Sister, Moon. Okay, it's a story of uh, the early years of, of um, St. Francis and St. Clair, too. And um, Donovan did the music, and he wrote this really simple, beautiful song that uh, was like the high point of the movie. This is from 1973. So, but we went to this movie, and it completely changed our lives just watching the movie you know just catching the essence of who saint francis was and how he stood for complete simplicity and and just the heart right just the heart no fancy fourth of july costumes If you want your dreams to be Take your time, go slowly Small beginnings, greater ends Heartfelt work grows purely If you want to live life free 
Take your time, go slowly. Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. Day by day, stone by stone, build your secret surely. Day by day, you'll grow to, you'll know heaven's glory. If you want your dreams to be, build them slow and surely. Small beginnings, greater ends, some heartfelt work grows purely. If you want to live life free, take your time, go slowly. Do few things, but do them well. Simple joys are holy. Day by day, stone by stone, build your secret surely. Day by day, you'll grow to who you'll know heaven's glory. Okay, take a moment just to breathe, close your eyes. Mm, if you want your dreams to be, build them slow and surely. If you want to live life free, take your time, go slowly. Such a really beautiful message. Just be yourself, because your heart will win you a blue ribbon for love. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. And we're really enough just the way we are. You're really enough, just the way you are. Yeah. Mm. You're more than enough, you're gorgeous. A blue ribbon <laughs> for love. Well, thank you, Barry. It would have been nice to show everybody that blue ribbon. We have it somewhere. I, I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. oh, have a wonderful week of loving. Thank <laughs> you.